This video demonstrates a novel assessment of hip abduction and external rotation range of motion in a female presenting with unilateral patellofemoral complaints. As part of the evaluation, I had the patient perform a step down prior to rendering any treatment. As you can see on the left or involved side, she exhibits excessive femoral internal rotation and is falling into valgus at the level of the knee. This portion of the video demonstrates a novel assessment of hip abduction and external rotation range of motion in a hook lying position. While stabilizing the foot, you can see that the patient has adequate hip abduction and external rotation range of motion on the non-involved side. When we switch over to the involved side, in this case again the left, putting her through the same assessment, it's readily apparent that she has a marked restriction in the hip abduction and external rotation. Following the manual treatment, which I'll cover in greater detail in a subsequent post, you'll notice that the patient has a dramatic improvement in the hip abduction and external rotation range of motion on the left or the involved side. Previously, she was going roughly 10 to 15 degrees based on visual estimation. Now it's clear that she's going well beyond 30 degrees. In conjunction with the improvement in hip abduction and external rotation range of motion that the patient experienced, you also notice that her step down is much improved. While there's still a mild wobble at the level of the knee, she's doing a much better job at countering the femoral internal rotation with this closed kinetic chain activity.